I first read Moby Dick 15 years ago. I remember the astounding beauty of the language and I remember being completely attracted to the character of Queequeg. Like Dante, the beauty of the language just stays with you. Moby Dick, like Crime and Punishment, is a book of such superlative power and intensity that I think you have to be at the right time in your life to come at it. It requires a lot of you because it gives a lot and I think to a certain degree you have to be ready for the onslaught. What keeps striking me when I read it this time was this, I thought this is reminding me of something. What's it reminding me of? And I suddenly realised it's science fiction. For people of the 19th century, the ocean was the realm of fantasy and imagination. It was the realm of the unknown where there were mythical monsters and terrifying beasts and fabulous things lurking unknown. And reading Moby Dick, it seems to me, it's like going on a space voyage. These people in these tiny little crafts set off from the civilized world into the unknown. They may not come back alive. They could be gone for years they will encounter huge, terrifying, unknown creatures. It is, a, it is very much like 20th century science fiction. One of the things that struck me reading Moby Dick this time is that whales were the petroleum of the 19th century. They were extracting oil from animals and the animals were like a concentrated form of oil. And it's astounding to think that we could use a living animal to get our energy in the 19th century that were killing them literally by the millions. It is an ecological comment and I think, you know, all of those scenes of carnage of the whales, from our perspective, we can't help but be appalled he doesn't want you to look down on the whalers. He's trying to show their world with respect too. And it's very hard for us now to, to read those scenes because we believe that whales are you know, sentient beings in some sense. But I think Melbourne understood that too and I suspect that anyone who, who'd encountered a whale would feel that. He has the sensitivity to make you feel for the whalers and the whale, and the earth, and to do it all in 1850, it's just, it is truly mind-blowing book.